My name's Chris Clark from Brad Jones Racing. I'm the team manager. And on Crimsafe Talking Tech today, I'm going to show you how to change one of these to this, a complete race garage ready for the weekend. Okay, so as you can see, we've got uh, three garages to set up for this race meeting. We have our BOC, Lockwood Racing, and we have our Wilson Security Racing team. Um, when we get here, everybody's got a role. We have a, a, a pre-planned way that we go about it, and each person knows exactly what they've got to do, whether they're laying the floor, setting up the gas bottles, or putting up the PlayStation, aerials for the telemetry. So it's a very organised uh, thing, even though sometimes it might seem like a bit of chaos. So when we first get in, the first thing we do is we pull the cars out, put them outside the front, bring the flooring in. The first thing that goes down is the flooring. The guys know exactly where to put the flooring because of the setup scales that go down here where the little circles are in the floor. Also we do a plan prior to getting here. Each round we know exactly the sizes of the garage because over the years we've basically measured up every single garage in the uh, series so that we know what to expect when we get here. So basically each uh, individual panel is numbered so as we put the, the walling up the guys follow these uh, plans and on the back of each panel it has a number and that coincides with where they place it in the garage. Okay, this is a race ready uh, workshop we've got here. As you can see, the guys have got them set up in the garage. So when we go out during practice, the cars will come in, nose in. The guys have got the bottles here so that they can jack the car up, change the wheels, do any setting changes we need to do. The toolboxes are always set up at the back of the garages here. Um, all the guys have got lovely Sitchrome tools in there, which uh, are all the specific tools we need to do all our setting changes on the car. As you can see up on the walling, we've got a uh, planner which tells us what's happening during the day. Normally it says all the different uh, events on. Obviously Thursday's a setup day, so we don't need anything on the planner. Over here we've got our PlayStation, as we affectionately call it. This is where we get all our data, um, during the race and we can monitor what's going on in the car with all the sensors that are on the car. Um, the guys, uh, there's a couple of data acquisition guys and some race engineers and we monitor all the things we need to go. In this uh, little room behind is where we sort of hide stuff as well so it doesn't look so messy in the main garage but we also like to have our driver's helmet fans up in on those shelves where their helmets will go, fridges for the drinks for the team so they don't dehydrate and there's lovely weather in Northern Territories. security screens? Most CrimSafe lookalikes can pop out in just a few seconds, but the real CrimSafe doesn't, thanks to its patented screw clean. Cheap lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But CrimSafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. CrimSafe resists attack and corrosion and now has the ultimate warranty, 15 years. Ask for a demonstration today, because if it's not CrimSafe, it's not CrimSafe.